Hello, I'm Michael Knight, the creator and curator of Cracking Open a Cold One. Cracking Open a Cold One is a comedic series dedicated to getting writers and performers working, but without wasting time. Every two weeks, we take suggestions from you on social media for ingredients to be mixed in. Then they're given to the writer, and a writer has one night to create a new piece based on those suggestions. Then, the following day, performers perform the piece cold and buzzed because, oh, we crack open a cold one while we crack open a cold one. Mm. Mm -hmm. If you would like to be involved, head to newgentheatrical.org and sign up as a writer, actor, singer, or songwriter. Now, tonight's piece is titled The Naughty List and was written by a fantastic writer and performer, Miss Karen Schreiner. Unfortunately, Karen couldn't be here to do this intro tonight, so sadly you get me instead. Uh, the week's theme is romance, and Karen had to use the word throbbing two times. She had to include the cheesy, terrible pickup line, Is your name Sebastian? Because you're right, it really is better down where it's wetter. And she had to incorporate a household object, which was a surge protector. I'm going to have a little bit more to drink. <laughs> Tonight's piece stars Jandria Novak, Tanya Wheelock, and myself, Michael Knight. Now... Sit back, relax, have a drink, and enjoy Karen's new play, The Naughty List. Okay, drink up. I just goes down to seeing the Grease Mega Mix. Stop me for the last time. No amount of these ridiculous drinks is going to get me up on that stage. Then why did we come to karaoke? I didn't come to karaoke. I was dragged here. By you. Paige, you're in L.A. This is the last night of your 20s. It wouldn't kill you to be a little spontaneous. What exactly did you have in mind? You could have a one night stand. Daphne, I'm in a committed relationship. Maybe things have become a bit predictable, but... That doesn't mean I'm going to sleep with some random guy just to prove that I can be spontaneous. Hey, okay, it was just a suggestion. But what if you could sleep with someone? You can't tell me there's not one man you wouldn't just love to ravage. Don't you have a list? I need a list. Everyone has a list of five celebrities that you're allowed to sleep with if you ever meet them. Are you telling me you actually have? Leonardo DiCaprio, Tom Brady, 1989 Bon Jovi, the Duke from Bridgerton, and Prince Eric. From The Little Mermaid? He's a cartoon character. So what? It's a fantasy, Paige. It can be whoever you want. You know what? We're gonna start your naughty list right now. Start <laughs> naming names. What names? Honestly, Doc, there's no one. Okay, what about uh, those superhero movies that you love? You're telling me that if Commander Courage himself walked in here, flexed his throbbing biceps, uh, and whispered your name in his hot British accent, you wouldn't drag him to the ladies' room and let him have his American way with you? His name is Dylan McGuire, and according to his IMDb page, he's from Australia. <laughs> I knew you were obsessed with him. I'm not obsessed. I just have the capacity to store a lot of useless movie trivia in my head. Whatever is going on your list. No, I would never actually sleep with the Lynn McGuire. Okay, but what if you were single and a huge asteroid was going to hit the Earth tomorrow and aliens were attacking? Good reality. I just meant, what if there were no consequences whatsoever for you if you did sleep with him. This may be hard for you to understand, but one of the most attractive qualities about him is that he is totally in love with his wife. Whenever you see them at award shows or on the red carpet, he's always holding her hand and thanking her for supporting him. And he has been a star for 15 years and not once have we heard about him screwing the nanny. That's why I love him. So if by some crazy chance, I ever meet him and successfully seduce him, well, he wouldn't be who I thought he was, so I wouldn't be interested anymore. Plain and simple. Do you have any idea how badly you suck at this game? Do you have any idea how dumb this game is? It all hinges on the ridiculous notion that Dylan McGuire may actually burst through the door and fall right into my lap. 
Hello, ladies. Can any of you tell me where the electronics are? You wanted me to come to LA for my birthday to trick me into having a spontaneous one night stand with Dylan McGuire? Yes, I knew that your celeb crush was going to go on a bender and end up at a karaoke bar in Glendale. Oh my god. Of course not. What are the odds that of all bars in LA he walks into this one tonight? It's a sign. Can we t please talk about this when we don't have a semi conscious movie star sprawled across our booth? What are we going to do with him? Well, he's on your list, so I know what you want to do with him. Shut up about the stupid list! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, ladies, ladies, can you please keep it down? My head is throbbing. How long was I out? Uh, 15 minutes. Mr. McGuire, it's such an honor to meet you. I'm Daphne. This is my friend Paige. She's a big fan. Mm -hmm. Well, Call me Dylan. I think we're past the point of formalities. Uh, Daphne, Paige, it's been a pleasure. Just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to. Oh no, no! I'm gonna sit right here for a minute. I think. Yeah. Mm. You stay here as long as you want. Yeah, thanks. But I just came in here to buy one of those, one of those things. You know, um, the plug things for the wall. An extension cord. No. No, the other, the other thing, uh, oh, oh, has all the prongs with the, you know, storage protector? Yes, yes, you beautiful, wonderful angel. That's it, yeah. <laughs> you came to a karaoke bar to buy a storage protector. This is a bar. Yeah. I could have sworn it was a hardware store. If you need one, you can borrow mine. You have a surge protector in your purse? Of course not. It's plugged in under the table. Why? Well, I have to charge my phone and my other phone and my Kindle and my vibrator. Please, you don't have a vibrator plugged in under the table right now. But I got to respect a lady who comes prepared. Yep. Miss Daphne, you don't happen to have an extra charger, do you? I have one in my car. I'll go grab it and let you two get to know each other. Happy birthday, Paige. So, you're celebrating a birthday. Sure, this isn't exactly how you pictured your evening turning out. <laughs> this is about par for the course for Daphne. Apparently I need more spontaneity in my life. I don't suppose you've heard of the list? You mean the famous people you're allowed to sleep with? Does everyone know about this but me? Unfortunately. Well, we were making mine and you got here. I'm honored. <laughs> Though, I guess after seeing me in person, you may want to change your list. I'm not, not much of a romantic leading man out of the costume, me. Eh? It's not about the costume for me. I've read so many tabloid stories over the years about Hollywood divorces and infidelity. You seem like the one person who was above all that. That's why you're on my list. Well, <laughs> sounds like you might be a bit of a romantic yourself. Um, so, like, hey, what about your friend? Am I on our list too? Hmm? Sorry. <laughs> Daphne has a thing for cartoon princes with a mermaid fetish. Can't blame her for that one. Uh, oh, hey, hey, hey. What did Ariel say to pick up guys at the sandbar, huh? What? <laughs> is your name Sebastian? Because you're right. It is better down where it's wetter. <laughs> oh, God. Was that a really bad joke or a really gross pickup line? <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know. It's been so long since I've picked anyone up. I think I've lost my touch. <laughs> well, I'm sure your wife would be glad to know you're so out of practice hitting on women that you turn to children's movies for inspiration. Mm. Well, I don't know about that. I had a fight this afternoon. Stormed out. Got drunk. Now I've been wandering around all night with a chip on my shoulder and a dead phone. I have to get it charged so I can call her again and apologize. 
apologize for what? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's none of my business. I, I passed out on you during your birthday dinner. We have no secrets, right? I am. Um, I actually turned down a movie role she wanted me to take. Now, um, okay, you have to promise not to laugh. It was actually a musical. Hmm? Why would I laugh at that? You got your start in theater, didn't you? Oh, yeah, I did. I was a song and dance man long before I was Commander Courage. I didn't know anyone knew that. It's on your IMDb page. So, what did you fight about? I told them my publicist didn't think it was a good idea for my image. It's too much of a departure from the superhero persona. But, you know, I can't be honest with you, the truth is, I'm scared of what the response will be if I show that side of myself. And your wife didn't understand? Well, she understood, but if she told me to say to hell with what anyone else thinks, she believes in me more than I'll ever believe in myself. You know, when you've been together as long as we have, Everyone assumes that the romance just goes out of a marriage, but for me, it just gets better as time goes on. It may look predictable or even boring on the outside, but you're having someone who will be there through all the everyday ups and downs is more romantic than any grand gesture you'd see at the end of a movie. And you may lose your spontaneity, as you say, but you gain something much better. Wow. <laughs> Well, not only do I think you should do the musical, I think you should write and star in a rom-com. <laughs> My publicist's head might explode. Ooh. Would you excuse me? I, I just have to text someone. Husband? Oh, or is he still auditioning for the role? Hmm? He's definitely a front runner. Ah, he's a lucky man. Thank you, Dylan. For what? for being exactly who I hoped you'd be. <laughs> okay, let's get this plugged in and we can have Dylan on his way. Unless you two have other plans. I think we both know which way we need to go from here. Dylan, did you ever do Grease in high school? I actually did, why do you ask? It wouldn't kill either of us to be a little spontaneous. 